What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, super excited to be bringing you guys Regulation G content onto the channel with this Rayquaza team. Now, Regulation G rules states that you can have one restricted slash legendary Pokemon per team, and all other Pokemon from past formats in Scarlet and Violet are legal in this format. So it's basically Regulation F, but you're adding legendaries, but only one legendary per team. So Pokemon like Rayquaza, Kyogre, Groudon, Zamazeta, Zacian, Maridon, Coridon, I believe they're all legal in this format, but again, only one per team. So it should definitely shake up the meta a little bit and should definitely be a nice little change of pace from rank regulation F. But I decided to get started here with Rayquaza because I love this Pokemon so much and it seems to be OP pairing up with Shen Pao. Rayquaza has the normal terror type with E speed, Dragon Ascent, Sword Stance for that plus two attack boost and protect for its final move. It's got a nice little ability of airlock and a clear amulet as item. Like I said, it's going to be paired up with Shen Pao today with Swords of Ruin and the Focus Sash, Rocket Ice Spinner, Throat Chop, Sacred Sword, and Protect. Other Pokemon on today's team, we got Incineroar and Rillaboom, a great little double fake out users on today's team. Incineroar can have the attack drops, take off items, all that good stuff, and Rillaboom can have terrain control doing some big time damage with Woodhammer and Grassy Glide. Our final two Pokemon on today's team, one is going to be a big time special attacker, that is going to be Golden Go, with good as gold and a choice specs as item. Rocket Make It Rain, Shadow Ball, Thunderbolt, and Trick. And our last Pokemon is going to be Roaring Moon, a solid physical attacker that can set up Tailwind for the squad. Guys, you want to rent this team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's go showcase Rayquaza in Regulation G. So guys, since Regulation G Ranked Battles does not come out till May 1st, we are hopping on the casual ladder just to showcase some Pokemon and get going with this. Still, hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video. I just think Regulation F is getting a bit stale, so it's definitely going to be a lot of fun to showcase these Regulation G teams. But we're going up against a Swift Swim Kingdra team here in match number one, alongside with Scizor, Rillaboom, Incineroar, and Raging Bolt. So I do have Clear Amulet here, which is pretty good, and I also have Airlock. Airlock eliminates the effects of weather. So this is going to be really good going into Rayquaza for the lead because one, they cannot go into Intimidate because we got that clear amulet. And two, I eliminate all the effects of weather if they want to go into Politoot and Kingdra. So I'm going to go into a nice little Scizor, or not Scizor, uh, Rayquaza and Shen Pao. I think it's going to be a solid lead for us. And in the back end, we could go into Incineroar. We could go into Glassy Glide Rillaboom, which wouldn't be bad. Um, I could also go into our Tailwind user with Booster Energy. I think that's going to be good. And last but not least, you see the Golden Goat or Rillaboom, I feel like. What would I rather have here? For late game, Rillaboom's not bad. Or not Rillaboom. Uh, Golden Goat's not bad. Considering you have all these good moves. Thunderbolt, Shadow Ball, Make It Rain. I'm going into you. With the choice specs, we love you. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. So Shen Pao and Rayquaza for our lead here. Look at this. Just pop some big time moves. E-Speed, Dragon Ascent, maybe get off a of Sword Stance. I'm super excited for this. I'm super excited for this. I'm especially super excited to showcase Maridon and Karidon, but Rayquaza, all-time favorite of mine. Wanted to use it, especially paired up with Shen Pao. Wanted to use it, but they're going to end up going into both of these guys, which is not a big deal for me. I mean, they can fake me out. They could. They could. And they could also go into Bullet Punch. Um, I think now would be a good turn for me to just go into maybe Sword Stance and protect Shen Pao. And I think that might be, might be my play. Swords Dance, protect on the Shen Pao, because I can see Bullet Punch flying into this slot. Um, hopefully Fake Out would go into this slot as well, but I think they're going to Fake Out the Rayquaza more so than anything. You see a big time Rayquaza just staring you in the face. you got to be faking that thing out, right? <laughs> they have the Clear Amulet, which is awesome. Shen Pao is now minus one. We might want to swap it. But for now, I think it's good to just protect it and try to get off a of Swords Dance. Let's see what they end up doing here. Rayquaza. On the field. Look at him. He's shiny too. I love it. Shiny colors. Looking phenomenal. So let's see. What you got here in Sonora? Don't fake out Rayquaza. Let me get this Sword Sands off. So big time protect coming out from Shen Pao. I can definitely see the steel move. Bullet Punch. Iron Head coming into that slot. And they don't go for the fake out. So I get off a of Sword Stance. I get off a of Sword Stance here. Let's see what they got cooking. He's going to U-turn pivot here. Decent damage. Not very effective. And that could be choice band damage. That's some big time damage. And hopefully a flare blitz for them. Let's see what you got here. Because they're swapping here. I got Rayquaza ready to go. I could go into normal terror E speeds now. Which isn't bad. That's <laughs> not bad at all. I could start throwing Dragon Ascents. Let's see what they're going to end up doing here. I'm hoping fingers crossed for flare blitz into the slot. Because Rayquaza is rather fast here. 
Let's see. So we know he has scissor. I think that's a choice band scissor, especially with U-turn and how much damage that did. Um, they're going to go into Politoed, which is not a big deal for me. I'm scared of the ice move a little bit here. And Parting Shot's going to fly here. And I have clear amulet. It doesn't work. Get on out of here. He tries Parting Shot here. Um, I kind of want to see this thing's EVs, IVs, all that good stuff. It's going to be boosting an attack with 222. God dang. A little bit of a problem. And what's your speed? I actually didn't see his speed. I just want to make sure it's outspeeding pretty much everything. 118 is actually kind of on the slower side. So, I mean, Ice Beam is looking a little scary. I think a normal terror is going to be good for us here. I'm just going to Dragon Ascent into this slot. So, we go Dragon Ascent. And Dragon Ascent actually, I think, lowers our stats, right? Can I see that? I believe it does, right? It lowers my defense and special defense. Maybe we just want to go Terra normal, E speed. I think this should KO, no problem. So, I'm going to do that. And furthermore, I'm just going to throw a chop in this slot. I know I'm minus one, but I'd rather do this instead of doubling down into Incineroar here. The Sword Stance, Normal Terra Boost, Shen Pals next to it, E Speed. That damage output should be absurd, especially with 222 attack. Oh my lord. Rayquaza, chill. Rayquaza, chill. The Rayquaza put on that Normal Jam on top of its head. Loving it. Helping Hand gonna come out here. He's looking to do some damage. He's looking to do some damage. So we're hoping this Rayquaza just KOs, right? We're really hoping. E Speed flying across here. Go ahead, Rayquaza. Do him dirty. Do them dirty. Let's go. Let's go. Later. Later, Incineroar. Get it out of here. Best part is Airlock is out on the field, man. We love Airlock. So even minus one. Shampoo hitting pretty hard. So Airlock chilling out here on the field. All effects of weather are gone. Scissor comes back out here. It could go for a bullet punch. Now might be a good turn for just us to protect this thing. Maybe just go for a sword sense here. Or not sword sands, a sacred sword. We're even a throw chop. Yeah, throw chop will do a little bit more damage because I could see them going into like bullet punch here. So if I can actually tackle down some damage onto the scissor, then E speed could probably KO, even not very effective. And it has priority over bullet punch. So that's my plan. That's my plan. I could see a helping hand bullet punch come out here. I have Sash still on my Shen Pal, which is gorgeous. We're just gonna protect the Rayquaza because they see it as a threat right now. They're looking at it they're like, dang, this thing's plus two sword sands. E speed KOing. I need to take it out. So by protecting it, hopefully they're just like, hey, we gotta attack this thing. Let's see. So protect comes out here. Protect comes out for Politoed. Solid. Show me the bullet punch into the Rayquaza slot. And let's see. Maybe it might be going for close combat. It is. So we block. We block. Now's a good time to turn to double down and scissor. Do we still think it's going for a close combat? Because I would love to go for Dragon Ascent. But honestly, E speed alongside with like Throat Chop, doubling down, should KO. So, I like it. Especially because I should have realized your choice banned. I should have just went for a Dragon Ascent. I should have just went for a Dragon Ascent. Yeah, I should have went for a Dragon Ascent there. But I know your choice banned. Hopefully, E speed just KOs. Let's see. E speed flying. Requires <laughs> not playing around. And that damage is... Oh, brings him down to one. Good thing we did double down into it. Good thing we followed through here. Brought him down to one. <laughs> Brought him down to one. I'm surprised. My Shen Pal is still sashed up here. He's going to go for a Parish Song, and it's already over for you. Parish Song, it's too late. It's way too late. I'm going to just start dragging Ascenting now. Thanks for playing. Thanks for coming out here. The Parish Song dropped low. Actually, it depends who they bring out here, because Kingdra would be faster than him. We don't like that. We don't like that. And it is going to be Kingdra. So I could just E speed again. Should I E speed? No, nah, I'm going to Dragon Ascent. We're going for Dragon Ascent. So all weather effects are gone. So I'll go for Dragon Ascent. I'm going to go into, wow, a throw chop. And they just turn off their console. That's hilarious. Moving on to our second match for today's video. And Rayquaza thriving out in match number one. We set up the sword stance. E speed doing its work. We were about to start Dragon Ascenting. But then our opponent was like, nah, I'm not having this. This Rayquaza is dominating me. So, hopping into our second match here. Let's see who we're going up against. And we're going up against a Pheasantipity team. I wish we were seeing some more Regulation G Pokemon. But, um, I kind of like the team that we're going up against for Rayquaza and Shin Pao. And I might end up leading both of them. I don't mind it, right? I mean, maybe we want to set up a Tailwind because Rayquaza's speed's, like, mediocre. 118 mean. But its attack stat's phenomenal. Oh my god, 222? I understand why its speed's so low. I understand, it's because it's kind of just here for E speed, but I'm going to go Tailwind here, and I'm also going to go into maybe like Incineroar for the lead. They could set up screens, which could be a little bit of a problem. 
But at this point, I could maybe just go into like gold again. Choice spec, make it rain. Ooh, I don't mind that. I don't mind that. And then we'll bring the boys in the back end. Shen Pao and Rayquaza. Yeah, I love Rayquaza. Rayquaza? Rayquaza? What do you guys pronounce it? How do you guys pronounce it? I say Rayquaza. But I think a lot of people say Rayquaza. I think that's actually how you pronounce it. But ever since I was a kid, Rayquaza was the way I said it. I'm going to keep saying it till the day I die. Till the day I die. But um, they could definitely lead Grimmsnarl here. And if they lead Grimmsnarl, they'll just set up like a light screen. And hopefully make it rain. Could just finish that thing off with the choice specs. And then hopefully no reflect comes out here, which would be good. But I'm looking to just pop a tailwind, go for make it rain. Kind of get things started here. And then have Rayquaza and Shen Pao out in the back and Dragon Ascenting. All that good stuff. Because Dragon Ascent next to Shen Pao. Oh boy. Oh boy. Because that's like a base 120 move, I think. Stab. It's just absurd. And then it's his tax stat. Like I said, it's like 222 right now. Absurd. They're going to go Pheasantipity alongside with Grimmsnarl. How you doing? All right. That's fine. Um, You could Terrasalize Grimmsnarl. Could definitely be a possibility. Um, Pheasantipity, what are you? You're poisoning. You're not flying. You're poisoning and fairy. So honestly, Make It Rain seems like the play here. It seems like a no-brainer, correct? Is it a Terra Make It Rain? I don't want a Terra Make It Rain. We'll just do a regular Make It Rain. The light screen comes out and about. We could have potentially just tarot here, but I think we're going to be picking up a KO. I think we are. So, Tailwind comes out here. Getting that speed. And make it rain and flying. So, Golden Go getting things started off hot here, correct? Oh, that's a big time turn for us. That's a big time turn. So, our special attack is going to drop here. And, yeah, I definitely should have Terrastalize, but this is a very quasi video. And I want to maybe save it for him if he needs it, right? <laughs> that's, that's more of my thought process, right? That was just more of my thought process. So, make your or Icy Wind's gonna come out here. Slow us down a tad bit, but we still have Tailwind up, which is good. And Toxic Chain's gonna actually grab a poison. Alright, the so Toxic Chain's gonna poison up. Um, I think you just get off and reflect at this point. And honestly, now's a good time for us to probably swap you into Rayquaza. And then just pop a Make It Rain again. So we're gonna dip back with the moon. If you get off a reflect, get off a reflect. Um, I still feel like Rayquaza could be fine here. And we go into the Rayquaza. Beautiful. We love it. We love it. Make it rain. Easily picks up the double KO through the slight screen. And then he gets off his reflect. Okay. Alright, that's whatever. It's whatever. Make it rain gonna fly here. Double KO. You got your screens up. Oh, you survive? You survive that. That's a little absurd. I know I was minus one, but I didn't think you were surviving that at all. And he's going to go for another Icy Wind, which, uh, that's okay. Rayquaza going to take some damage, but still going to be able to outspeed these guys. Alright. Now I'm going to hard swap Shen Pao. And I might just save our Terra. I don't know, we might want to keep it for Golden Go. Another Make It Rain later in the match could be big. So I want to swap Golden Go into Shen Pao. Um, I could maybe set up a Sword Saints if I want to. Fezidipity might outspeed Rayquaza. I'm not too sure. But honestly, Shen Pao outspeeds Fezidipity, which I could just KO. So let's see who they bring out here. Bring out Heatran. Oh, Heatran's not too good for us. Not too good. We might just want to set up a Sword Saints here. I'm just going to set up a Sword Saints. Uh, are you going to go into Heat Wave? I'm going to set up Sword Saints. I'm going to sacrifice Golden Go here. I'm going to sacrifice Golden Go. We're going to see a Terra pop out here. Is it going to be Grass? I should have Dragon sent it. I should have. What do you got cooking here? Is it grass? It's flying. That's fine. Flying Terra comes out here. Protected from any ground move. So he's going to go for Flying Terra here. Make your range should care of the Fez Dipty. We're going to set up a Swords Dance here. Hopefully you're not going for another Icy Wind. That could be a little bit of a problem. Make your range going to fly here. Bop. See you later, Fez Dipity. Cool. Can you KO the Golden Go while leaving Rayquaza on the field? That'd be the best. That'd be the, the best possible situation. Heat wave's gonna fly here. Yep, yeah, Golden Ghost dead. I oh, know, Golden Ghost survives, and I'm cool with this. No, no burns? No burns. Alright. This thing does have leftovers. Dragon is sent ready to fly. We reflect all that good stuff. I think we're gonna swap Golden Ghost for Shen Pao now. Now that it's the right turn, they're gonna throw out their final Pokemon, which is Urshifu. Are you choiced? You could be going for Sucker Punch, which is a little bit of a problem, but I'm gonna do this. And I think my best bet would just. Actually, no, we don't wanna swap Rayquaza. I could E-Speed, but I think Dragon Ascent. What about Dragon Ascent? 
I mean, I can deal with you with pretty much any Pokemon. You could detect. I think I'm just going to go after you. And I'm just going to hard swap you into Shen Pao. I have Focus Ash. So let's see. Let's see. You could be going for Sucker Punch, but I think my Rayquaza can eat up a Sucker Punch if that's the case. We'll see. So there's the hard swap into Shen Pao. You love it. Dragon Ascent's going to fly here. Look at this move. It looks so sick. Oh my lord, love it. Bye bye, Heatran. Get it on out of here. So, my defense drops. They could KO my Rayquaza if they want to, but they don't, now it just turns to like a 3v1. We can wrap it up from here. Big time Dragon Ascent KOing you. We could call on the Heatran because you could have been sashed with the Earth Spirit. Wicked Boy is going to fly here. I'm dead all day. And that's fine. Rayquaza getting work done again. Dragon Ascent flying next to Shen Pao. Seriously, this combo is going to be a problem. It is going to be a problem. But from here, I can now bring out... What do I bring out here? I mean, I have Focus Ash. I should be fine. I'm just going to bring out Roaring Moon. I can go for Breaking Swipes. I can go for... I think it has Knock Off. I think. Yeah, and I'm just going to go for Breaking Swipe. And on top of that, just go for a nice Spinner. Actually, Sacred Sword a little bit better here. Especially because you don't have Terra. Sacred Sword flies. Doing that much damage. Breaking Swipe going to fly here as well. Doing that much damage. And we get that attack drop too. So Wicked Blood probably going to fly here. Going after Warrior Moon. That's totally fine. I'm going to die out to Poison, which kind of sucks. But Shen Pao sitting here with Focus Ash still. Game, set, match. Thanks for playing. Thanks for playing. Thanks for playing. And actually, I survived on one. Thank you, Warrior Moon. Battle was canceled. We are 2-0. Rayquaza thriving out in today's video. Moving on to our final match for today's video. Going up against a Charizard team. Love me some Charizard. They also have Iron Valiant, super cool Paradox Pokemon. With Incineroar, Milotic, Metagross, and last but not least, they got Hydrippy Drapple. Love that Pokemon. Um, Rayquaza, we definitely want to bring in here again. This video is all about Rayquaza. And I kind of want to lead it. Do I lead it? It could intimidate me, but I have clear amulet. I could lead it. I think Tailwind's going to be our friend. I think we go into these two. Both of these little boogers. Right here. I think that's solid. Tailwind, try to get the speed for Rayquaza, bring Shen Pao in the back end if we want to swap into it. And then furthermore, down the line, we could go Incineroar? I mean, they do have competitive Milotic. I could go Rillaboom instead. I kind of like Rillaboom with the best. Mm, do I like Rillaboom with the best? I do. I do. It has high horsepower. I can't really do anything up against Incineroar, Charizard, or Hydrippy Drapple, but that's what... Mm, you know what? Maybe we should go into like somebody else. But I'd like it up against a Milotic. Old and go. Nah, we're gonna go Robo. Let's go. Let's go. I like Robo. I like being able to fake out. I like Grass Glide up against the Milotic. Grass Glide can do some damage to uh, Iron Valley as well. We have high horsepower for Metagross. High horsepower for Incineroar. Okay, actually, not, not as bad as I thought. So just Charizard, Hydrippy, Drapple, we can't really do much with. But still, I have other Pokemon for that. I have other Pokemon, such as Rayquaza. An amazing legendary who's killing it right now. So they're gonna end up leading the Blah, Incineroar Iron Valiant. So Incineroar Iron Valiant comes out here. Um, Tailwind gonna be our best friend. Uh, do I go? I have to protect you, right? I have to protect Rayquaza. I might double protect. Actually, no. We're just gonna protect Rayquaza. We're gonna pop this Sword Stance. Or well, not Sword Stance. Tailwind. I doubt they fake out. I doubt they fake out the room. Looking Rayquaza in the eyes. You're going to tell me you're going to fake out Roaring Moon over Rayquaza. You're crazy. You're crazy. So this is going to be a simple protect from us. And I'm going to put a million Pokey Dollars on them faking out this Rayquaza slot. You cannot stare Rayquaza in the face and not and not go for a fake out. You just can't. You just, it's just impossible. It's just impossible. What I say? I told you. You guys owe me a million Pokey Dollars. Come on, man. That reads too easy. They might even double down into it with a like Moonblast. Which I'm kind of hoping... I'm kind of hoping I might just drag an ascent this, that thing. He's gonna go for a drain punch here, which is actually fine. I don't mind that at all, considering considering now we're sitting in a position where it's like, okay, your only purpose here was here to uh, set up Tailwind. Now I have Rayquaza next to Shen Pao in a Tailwind. This is exactly what we wanted. The Tailwind out about, love it. We can now go for Secret Sword into you. We can now go for Dragon Ascent into you. I could actually start e-speeding, but Dragon Ascent is going to be required. You boost your energy. I know you're not sashed. He's going to end up withdrawing this Pokemon. So Iron Valiant is going to get the withdrawal here. 
Um, they're gonna go into who? Who's taking this dragon to set? Super question. Milo. I do have roll in my head. Let's take a sword massive damage onto Incineroar. Dragon Ascent flying. How much damage is this gonna do? Insane damage. KO and Milo take a one shot. Our defense does drop though. I can't start E speeding, but right now we have speed through the roof. Through the roof. Let's see what Incineroar is gonna go for. He's gonna go for a flare, but it's I sash up, which is huge. Love the focus sash on Shen Pao. Love it. So now we sash up. We still have Rillaboom Boom in the back end. You're gonna take a lot of damage to recoil. Um and what do you have here? We got leftovers. Leftovers? Leftovers gonna poke off from here. So we know he still has Valiant. Um They're gonna throw out their final Pokemon, which is who? Gonna be high drippy drapple. Do I Drippy Drapple comes out here? I think this is safe for us to just go. Do I go Ice Spinner here? He's four times super effective. I might just double down on you. Could E Speed just KO you? You might swap it soon. Let's be honest. I'm going to double down to High Drippy. I'm doubling down to High Drippy. And the reason I do this is because they might Terra or Withdraw. Okay, there's the Withdraw. And the other reason is if one of these moves do KO, the other one's just going to slide over. So here comes a hard swap into Valiant. Ice Spinner's gonna pick up the KO. It's four times super effective. And now Dragon Ascent can finish off this Iron Valiant. Perfect. Lovely. So no Terra pops out for me. A little absurd. There's the Dragon Ascent. See you later, Iron Valiant. Thanks for playing. Yo, Rick, what's this shit about? A problem. I'm saying it now. It's a problem. It's a problem. It's a It's a problem. He used to be with the normal Terra. Dragon Ascent. Damage output is just absurd. They throw out their final Pokemon, and we're not going to let him get the, uh, we're not going to let him pick up a KO. We're just going to protect Shen Pao, and I'm going to actually E speed. Game, set, match. Thanks for playing. Thanks for playing. We're not going to let him pick up the KO. I won't allow it. So E speed going to come out here. We're just going to protect him. And we might be going after Rayquaza. Nope, they're going after Shen Pao. <laughs> Looking for the fake out KO. Beautiful. I probably should Dragon Ascend again because it's just a cool move. But East Speed gonna finish things off. We love it. 3 0 with Rayquaza in today's video. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. 3 0 for today's video. And you guys seen Shen Pao and Rayquaza. This is gonna be a problem. Let me tell you guys now Rayquaza and Shen Pao is Shen Pao and Dragonite on steroids. Rayquaza is 10 times stronger, it hits harder, it has better moves. We love this Pokemon. So definitely going to be a lot of fun. Hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video and the Regulation G content. If you guys did, make sure you guys leave a like on today's video and subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.